How's it going everybody? This is Doom Kid. Today I'm just here to show you how to create a map info lump for your Doom Wad. Uh, this allows you to set a custom sky texture, custom music, a custom level name, and uh, even more things than that as well. So first I've got my uh, three maps I've made here. I've got two regular maps and a secret map I've made. I've also got a MIDI file that I wanna use as the music for one of the maps and I've got a sky texture here that I wanna import. So I'll show you how to get these three maps to go from map one to map two regularly or from map one to map 10 with a secret exit. And I'll show you how to set the music in sky as well. So what you'll do first is you'll create a new wad, then you'll open the three maps you've made. So here's my map one. You copy that and then paste it. And so I'll just call this um, full wad since it's all of them, all the resources together. All right, so that's map one imported. Do the same for map two and do the same for map 10, which is our secret map. Okay, so we've got our map one, map two, and map 10. Never mind how simple they are, they're just test levels. So on map one, I've got one exit switch that is marked as a normal exit, and I've got another exit switch here that is marked as a secret exit. So now what I'll do is show you how to create a map info lump that incorporates all this stuff. So you'll go to new lump, it'll be a new entry, here we go. Call it map info. View it as text, because that's what you want to do, is make it as a, a text lump. And what you'll do is you start with map map 01. Now you can create these for Doom 1 as well. So if your level is called E1M1, you'll say map E1M1. And then you put the title here, and I'll just call it test level one. And now what that means is on the map, on the auto map and on the intermission screen, your level name will show up as test level one. Now you type next. This is telling it what map to go to next whenever someone hits the regular exit. So you say next map 02. Then you type secret next on this next line down here. And this tells it which level to go to for the secret exit. And I want to go to map 10 for the secret exit. Below that, you set the sky. So what we'll do, we'll save it here for now. And I'll import my custom sky lump. So we'll go to import files. And I've got new sky.png. So that's been imported here. Firstly, what I want to do, rather it's a PNG or a bitmap or any other thing, you right click, go to graphic convert to and then doom gfx paladin click convert you should see it should be the same color pretty much click convert and now it is actually a proper doom graphic and then you right click it again and you go add to patch table yes doom yes that's so you want to go for doom I know there's the ZDoom option there but this one will allow maximum compatibility with any other source ports and then you just say import from base resource archive. Now you have to have your base resource set in here under edit. So set base resource archive. I should have said that first. So my apologies, but either way, when you do that, so you do that, then you can uh, create your texture lump and your P names lump and you've added new sky to your P names and now you'll add to texture and then click save. So now when I go to edit textures, if I scroll to the bottom just to check new sky, I've got it at the bottom there. And then when I go to P names, if I go to the bottom, I got new sky. So it's been added as a patch and a texture, which is just what we need. So now in map info, you type sky one, no matter what level it is or anything, you type sky one. Then you type the name that you want to put as your actual sky texture, which in our case is new sky. Then you put a number after it that is the scrolling speed. Since mine has mountains, it wouldn't make sense if it was scrolling. I mean, you can do that if you're on like a, a boat level or in the middle of the ocean or something. The scrolling sky might make some more sense. 
but in my case, I want zero for the speed. But you would type like say 0.2 or even negative 0.3 or just any value. You have to enter some value there though. If you don't, it'll crash um, most ports. So that's your sky. Now, if you want to set custom music, you'll put in your music name. So we'll save it here again, and I'll go ahead and import a music lump. So in this case, it's D underscore new. So we'll go ahead music, D underscore new. And then finally, you can set no jump and no crouch if you want to make a classic style level but if you want people to be able to jump and crouch don't add those those are just for vanilla purposes and then if you want story text you can even type cluster one and then you can give it some exit text here well you put this after the level you want it to show up for so for here i'll say cluster def one and then you can set the music. So D read M is the default story music. You can put whatever flat you want here. I'll just put flat one, since it's one of the only flats I can remember the name of off the top of my head. And this is just stuff that I had in there. You don't want it to go too far to the right here or else it'll go off the side of the screen. And you need to contain it within quotes as well. So I can type test story shit. There we go. And that should be good for that. And you can go down and set the stuff for your next level. Now, if you don't want to bother with stories, you don't need to worry about cluster one or any of this. You can get rid of all of it and just go, you know, your next level map, map 02. But if you do want story stuff, which for the sake of showing off how to do it, I'll, add, I'll leave it in there. So there we go. So now we've got map map 2 I'll just call it test level two. And again, next, we'll just go back to map 01. If we don't find the secret exit, we'll go right back to map 01. There is no secret exit on this level. So I don't even need to specify a secret next. You only need to specify that if the map actually has a secret switch. So with sky, I want it to be, let's say sky two, which is a default doom sky. There's sky one through three. So we'll say we want the default city doom sky. And then music will use D underscore run in. That's the usual Doom Map01 music level name. And we can type cluster one for this one. And we want to have a different story text when we exit level two. So what we'll do is we'll call this cluster two and cluster def two, text story shit two. If you want to have multiple levels in between, you only put this after the level where you want the story text to show up. Like for example, you could add another level in here and go map two, then map three instead, and then have it this story text play after map three. So every map that has this cluster number, it'll wait till the last one in line before it actually displays this text. But we don't need to worry about all that for now. So we'll do, so this is cluster two, so it won't show the same text as cluster one. And we want to make it so we have a secret level though. And then after the secret level, we'll have our story text show up congratulating us. So we've got a secret level. So we've got next level. Again, it goes back to map 01. Sky is sky two, that's fine. I'll just do D stalks just to make it different since that's the default map two music name for Doom 2. And here we'll put our cluster two storyline with a different flat, we'll say F water one. And we'll say text story two biatch. And when we exit this, see, so the secret, it should go back to map one. So we've got all of this different stuff. We've defined our sky, we've defined our music, and we've set a story. We can also, you know, just say no jump, no crouch, if we want it to be a, a old school style level. 
You could even change that from map to map, but I recommend having it consistent throughout the whole set. So we'll save this and we'll go ahead and test it now. So you click save there to save your changes, then save here to save your wad. And we'll go ahead and see what happens now when we play full wad. Map info line 18, sky unknown top level keyword. 18th, sky one. So the reason it crashed is because I forgot to put the one after sky one. I now we can actually see how this will go. It's a good thing Zandronum tells us where the error occurs. All right, we've got our custom music, but when we hit our normal exit, we go to test level two. It said the wrong st story text for some reason. Cluster two, cluster def fucking <clears throat> two. Oh my God. This is the annoying type of shit you have to look out for when you're making a map info lump. This is a realistic experience right here of how frustrating it can be. There. Now that works. Okay. Do I go to my secret level? I do. I get the correct fucking text. I didn't change. It's got D stalks two not found, but I can fix that easily. I've got my sky texture. And bam, now you know how map info works, even though I had to struggle a lot to show you. So um, this will work in most ports. Well, once you actually get it to figured out, this will work in most source ports. If you have any questions, let me know. I will help you out. I'll look through and find those annoying typos like you just saw me make, and I'll help you iron them out. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.